Hello everyone, old Bolly here again. It's been quite some time since I did the last video and it's about time I did something now. A week ago I posted the photo that is appearing now and I I posted start again I'm out of practice. Oh Bolly here again. It's been quite a while since I last posted a uh, video and I thought it time because I have a, something very nice to add. A week ago I posted the photo that's just appearing. It is a cylinder block of my Austin 7 Ruby with a few pieces of metal in front of it. I posted on Austin 7 Friends and old classic car forums plus two sites on Facebook asking for anybody to take a punt on what those pieces of metal could be used for. I finished it within three days, much to my surprise, and I'm about to show you exactly what it is. It is a rotisserie for the cylinder block. I needed something that I could mount the cylinder block and then being able to turn it 360, de 360 degrees as you can see, I'm out of practice because I need to do some porting of the ports. I need to clean them out because the engine needs as much help as it can get on its breathing. Therefore, if I can improve the flow of air-fuel mixture into the cylinder, it should be able to give me a few, maybe one or two more horsepower. <coughs> so without any more to do, let's move the camera and show you. There it is, in all its glory. These are the pieces of metal shown in the photo. The long bottom piece, the actual dropper or the upright, and then the frame that the block is bolted to. Bolted via the holes where it bolts down onto the crankcase. I now have full 360 degrees. bit tight here but I knocked it up very quickly. It's not to my norm, my usual model engineer standard. I wanted something quick. Hopefully I will be able to sit and, if and work on it while I'm seated. Yeah, it looks okay. I can see right down the ports, the bottom section, and if I need to get the top section, come on, like so, and I can get to the top. And that way, in there, and down there. I can of course also turn it around that way if need be. Plus I can mount it on the workbench. I have two parallels, two pieces of angle line there and there and it can sit on the workbench. I think that demonstrates everything. Ah, this. 
I have I need to get a vacuum cleaner or rather the suction of the vacuum cleaner there because the last thing I want is all the, the, the rubbish floating around the workshop so I'm going to have to try and think up an idea of clamping that there I also need to get light down there so that I can see what I'm doing at the moment it's all carboned up but I'll get rid of the carbon when I put it into the uh, sandblaster and give it a blast with oxy with aluminium oxide if anybody has any idea of how to secure this to there it would be appreciated hmm what about a clamp around there and bolted through there and I can make something solid out of aluminium and have a bolt through there to tighten it up ah yes sometimes the old noggin works not always I've got a I'm trying to think of the name. I'm going to... What is it? It's Baldrick. A cunning plan on getting light down there from here. A very cunning plan. Baldrick would really love that. I think that's it, folks. Oh, yes. I drilled two holes here. To mount this and when I first tried it the blaster thing nearly tipped over because it's right on the edge of that one caster down the bottom there Let's see if I can show you can I get that down further yeah there's that caster and with the motor on this edge it was starting to tip over so I had to quickly move them up. But that was no problem. The advantage of having a nicely equipped workshop. My dream workshop. Come on. Come on. Come on. What's going on now? Oh, okay. Yes, you can see this is a very amateurish production. A very amateurish production. How is my other little camera working? Oh, battery's nearly done. Oh, well, we will see. <coughs> Get back to the seat. This one back to the seat. Yeah, that's okay. <coughs> well, I hope you found that interesting. It was for me. It was one of my quickest implements that I made. And I'm pretty pleased with it. I can sit there and I can sit here in front of the workbench and I can work on the workbench as well so I can move it around to my heart's content whichever position I feel comfortable in anything else yes one I have one of those ubiquitous bench mounted sandblasting cabinets and the way it, they are supplied they are next to useless. So my next video will be on all the modifications I did. Oh, I'm looking at the wrong camera. <laughs> stupid, stupid, stupid. <laughs> Amateur par excellence. As I said, the sandblasting cabinet is next to useless. 
as it comes out of the factory, but you can get it to work, as I have, and I'm pretty pleased with that. Anything else? <coughs> Not that I can think of at the moment. The Austin 7 Ruby body, with any luck, will be coming back into the carport in the next week or two. Then I can start the major work on the body. That is going to need some serious work on a couple of parts because of the rust. So there's going to be some fabrication of channel sections and welding up. And a bit of metal forming as well. Anything else? I can't think of anything else at the moment. Uh, no. That's it, people. Until next time. Bye-bye for now. <laughs>